Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some more Windows 10 privacy settings. But this is some of the more advanced stuff, stuff that's a little bit more in depth, things like registry settings, uh, command line stuff, some services you can delete in order to help secure your privacy just a little bit more in Windows 10. Without any further ado, let's get to it. Now, we're going to get into some of the little more complex stuff. Now these commands I'm going to type in have already been done by me on this laptop, so they will not give out the proper response as if it worked, but these will work. Now what we're going to do is we're going to type in command, we're going to right click command prompt and go run as administrator. Windows user account control is going to give me a, a option for do you want to allow this to happen, so yes. So now I am running as administrator. So we are going to do service, delete, diag track. Now this was that diagnostic option that I showed you earlier that it would not allow me to uh, turn off. It would only let me send basic. See, this one for me it failed because I already deleted it. We're also going to delete DMW app push service. That one does not exist as well. Now another one you're going to do here is this one's a little bit trickier. We're going to hit echo space quotation mark quotation mark space arrow to the right space C colon slash program data slash Microsoft slash diagnosis and if you hit tab it will automatically fill it in for you so you don't have to type in the whole word slash etl logs slash auto logger right, let me open that up a little wider for you guys auto logger slash auto logger tech diag track since this is a new file you are not going to be able to uh, hit tab to auto populate this one tech listener dot etl and that should that one works for me because what we just did was we just created an empty file with nothing in it. Now since that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Group Policy Editor. We're going to do that by typing into the, the search down here, gpedit.msc. Edit Group Policy. Now what we're going to do here is go to let me open this up a little bit. Computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, data collection and preview builds, and we're going to double click telemetry. Now, we have this is going to be, it could be non configured, it could be enabled, but we want it set to disabled. As it says right here, this policy de setting determines the amount of diagnostic and usage data reported to Microsoft. Zero indicates no data from OS components is sent, and that's what we want. It only This one, we have a workaround because I'm running Windows Professional. Enterprise allows full control because security guys like myself prefer full control over their systems at work. They need to keep them secure. So most of this only usually works in Enterprise. Now, while we're here, let's also go to uh, go to computer configuration, administrative templates, and then we are going to hit Windows Components, Windows Defender, now this is for if you don't want to use Windows Defender, you can just Go in here, where is it, where is it, where is it? We can go down to turn off, there it is. Turn off Windows Defender. Me, I have this I have this turned on right now because I'm running semantic, or I'll be running semantic shortly. Let's also go into OneDrive settings. OneDrive settings is for is for that uh, Windows Microsoft Cloud Storage. It's like a Dropbox, but automatically built into your computer. If you don't like to use OneDrive, double click on this guy and hit enable because it says prevent the usage and we want to enable that. Now, 
we are going to go into our registry. Now, we are going to go into regedit, and sometimes it doesn't show up in our search settings. So what I'm going to do is type in command, run that as administrator, and then I'm going to type in regedit right here. Now, while we're in regedit, what we're going to want to do is hop into local machine, so local machine, hit software, we're going to hit Microsoft, we're going to go down to Windows, we're going to go into current version, we're going to go into policies, then we're going to hit data collection. Now, telemet allow telemetry is something you're going to have to change the value to zero. So if you hit that, boom, and that's all we really need to do in Reg Editor. Now, the next thing what we're going to do is hop over into our C drive, go into Windows, go into System 32. We're going to go into Drivers, ETC, and Host. And we're going to open our host file with Notepad. Okay. Now, this is the standard host file. Essentially, what it does is like a DNS server. It, it resolves names to IP addresses for you locally. Now, what we're going to do is I've already added all of this. And I will have this posted so you guys can copy all this information. Is we are going to add all this into your into your host file, and these are items that do telemetry and data and diagnostic stuff sent to Microsoft. What we did was for each of these domains, we added 0, .0, 0.0.0.0 as the IP address. That way, when it tries to go out to these addresses, it just fails because it doesn't go to a proper IP address. So now because we edited this, uh, Windows has an issue with this file, uh, have it ownership of this file, and we can't save the file on top of itself. My workaround is to save it to the desktop as hosts. So I have my host file showing up right here. I'm going to remove the text.txt text end, save. And now what I can do is move it over into the etc file, replace the file, and then it's going to ask me permission. This is what gets me around that ownership issue. And copy. There we go. Now there's one more thing we can do here. And this is thanks to a little bit of Google searching and not to my own and not to my own devices. I took this from somebody else and it is wonderful. Uh, this is a batch file. Essentially everything that I type into command prompt, this is what it does, but it does it automatically. Now this batch file, what it does is it uninstalls OneDrive. That way you don't have to even have OneDrive on your computer at all. You don't have to worry about it. I will have this posted up with the host file so you guys can use these and type them in yourself. Now, this batch file is open. It's not a program. You can look at it yourself so you know that it's not going to be doing anything bad to your computer other than uninstall OneDrive. Now, what all you got to do is with this batch file, right click on it, run as administrator. It's going to uninstall OneDrive. And then it's going to be done. Then hit any key to continue, and we are done. Now, for those of you who don't like or don't trust the Windows default apps for music, movies, uh, picture viewers, there are other things you can do and uh, apps you can download and install that is probably suitable if you haven't done so already. Now, for for those who don't like New Edge, which is essentially the replacement for Internet Explorer, they use the same logo, so I think it might just be the same thing as Internet Explorer. You can always download Chrome, 
or you can download my personal favorite, which is Firefox. And Firefox is like a Swiss Army knife. You can, if you're good enough, you can adjust it and modify it any way you want. For music, it, for those who, unless you have an iPod and like to install iTunes, which I do not like iTunes, but you know you might have an iPhone and it works for you, so it works great. Uh, you can install Fubar. You can install Music B, which I enjoy. And there's also a program called Banshee. Banshee is a program that was a uh, originally a Linux build but they've ported it over to Windows and you can use it to actually modify the music on your Apple device as well as your phone or whatever music player you have. And for video uh, besides DivX which is usually a, a paid program and it's great and you can convert videos I'm a big fan of VLC. VLC will play anything. Alright if you have any other tech questions you can always join me on the Blue Plate Special on Wednesdays at noon Pacific Standard Time or 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will play some games, answer your questions on air. At, that will be at twitch.tv slash themitani.com. Or you can also find other videos like this over at themitani.com, other tech articles as well. I am Q the Pirate, and thank you for watching.